Good morning, my brothers. It's a beautiful, beautiful, sunny, lovely Sunday morning here. Sunny on a Sunday. <laughs> How about that? Anyway, let's talk about something serious here. Man, pornography. That ain't good. Now there's glare from the sun on a Sunday. But no matter what matters is the content, the speech, not my face. Who wants to see my face? Let's get right down to it here. Build the wall. We have to build a wall around your brain, okay? No, we're not talking about Donald Trump, at least not today. But this wall around your mind, you have to secure your mind's borders, okay? And let me explain what I mean by that. The first step towards falling back into porn addiction can take a lot of different forms other than, you know, some temptation whispers in your ear, hey bro, hey, guess what? You should watch porn. A lot of times that's not how it's gonna work. It's gonna start with something else. You're going to start with maybe looking at a jogger or something like that one over there, or maybe with an advertisement or something that seems, you know, a lot more innocent than, than pornography. And you know what, maybe it is. But if this is something that's getting your mind on that track and it's sowing those seeds of lust and just giving in to, uh, giving in to your body's desires and just allowing your eyes to be consumed with some, um, with some image that turns you on or gets you off, that is the first step towards failure, if, if you allow that to happen, okay? If you just embrace that, accept it, and just don't fight back. You see, fighting against porn itself is a lot more than just fighting specifically and exclusively the temptations to look at porn. Because like I said, these other things, are, our culture, our media is so over-sexualized that there are so many different things that can plant a seed. And if you just embrace that seed, if you allow it to just remain in the soil of your mind and work its way into your brain, then it will grow. And many times that will lead you into a failure or a relapse. That was how I fell back into it many, many, many times uh, when I was still trying to quit porn, you know, over a year ago. And since then, you know, for the, for the past year, I've been a lot more aggressive about handling these seeds that try to be planted in my mind. Now, granted, I'm not perfect in this area. This is still an area that I continue to struggle with, is keeping my mind pure, just keeping it free of anything that is inconsistent with my values, anything that doesn't need to be there. And yeah, I mean, I admit that. It's still <laughs> difficult to keep that in shape. But what I have done is I've refused to allow those seeds to grow. Even if those seeds, you know, do, do get through my skull and into my brain, I refuse to allow them to grow. I uproot them and I throw them out. And it's so important to do that if you want to quit porn long term, okay? So, how do you do this? How, I mean, it's really hard to control your mind and obviously it's not going to be an option if you want to live in this civilization to just completely cut off all contact with anything that's sexualized. Well, like I said, you have to stop these things from growing. Don't embrace these thoughts when they show up. When they come into your mind, don't embrace them. Don't, you know, deliberately continue to think about them and just entertain these thoughts, these fantasies, whatever it is. When you see something that is going to be a problem for you, look away. <laughs> Bounce your eyes. Don't. Uh, it talks a lot about that in, uh, I think it was Every Man's Battle by Steve Arterburn, something like that. Very good book. But it talks a lot about bouncing your eyes. You know, you see something, you look away. You see something, you look away. If it's going to be a problem for you. So yeah, that's an excellent strategy. And I've employed that with a lot of success. And that's... <laughs> I mean, it's just so important. I can't state that enough. It's very important. And if I hadn't have taken that approach for the past year, then there's a good chance that I would have relapsed by now. And that would suck. That would really suck. I don't want that. And
and it's worth the extra effort. It's worth the, you know, the painstaking policing of your mind uh, to keep it clean and to not allow that stuff to grow. Okay, so that's about it. There really, and and I would add that uh, these, you know, these little things, these little fantasies and images and things like that, these things that aren't pornography are actually what led me to start getting into porn in the first place. Now, at first I was seeking out stuff that wasn't pornography and just allowing myself to lust over that thing. Okay, well, it's okay because technically it's not porn, you know, nobody's naked or something like that. And that was totally wrong. And that led to my demise for a long time. But you get the point. Police your mind. Secure your mind's borders. Build the wall. Build the wall. Build the wall 10 feet higher every day around your brain. Because, like I said, the more you do this, or like I say about discipline and things like that, the more you do this, the more you try to do it, the more effort you put into it, the stronger you're going to become. Every time you challenge yourself, you become stronger in that area. Okay, so build that wall 10 feet higher every day and make your brain great again. Okay? But that's about it here for today. I'm going to church. I'm going to have some fun at church. Might sound weird to people who aren't in a good church, but anyway, let's do this Jesus thing. Y'all have a beautiful, lovely, wonderful, porn free day, week, month, year, decade rest of your life take it easy but not too easy subscribe to keep up with this in the future there's going to be more on the way more is always going to be rolling and got a bunch of stuff going on here it's going to be good it's going to be great yeah that's about it take it easy god bless you guys and i will talk to you later